Welcome back. After a late night session, Congress has decided to have two high stakes votes on the controversial new zero tolerance tolerance Trump immigration policy that is accused of splitting up the families of asylum seekers coming to this country. Gotti Schwartz explains from San Diego at a holding facility for immigrant detainees. In detention centers across the country, close to 550 immigrant children have been separated from their families, according to a document obtained by NBC News. And now the rules about who can seek asylum in this country are changing. People don't want to be separated from their children. They should not bring them with them. Attorney General Jeff Sessions overturning an immigration court's landmark ruling that recognized women fleeing domestic abuse as a group eligible for political asylum. Asylum was never meant to alleviate all problems. At a detention center in Seattle, Democratic Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal says some immigrant women behind these walls had their children taken from them by U.S. authorities. They literally never had a chance to say goodbye to their children. Some of the children are as young as six, perhaps younger. It was heartbreaking. Sessions legal opinion also stating that protected status may no longer apply to victims of violent gangs, a ruling that could affect many of the 700,000 pending cases of asylum. Families like Maritza Delgado's who came with her young daughters in a recent migrant caravan. Lo único que tiene. Mm -hmm. She just asked if people put themselves in, in her shoes. Uh, parents, mothers, all they want is to, to be with their kids and kids all they want. Is, is to be with their family. Maritza says she's been on the run for over a decade, fleeing to Guatemala and then to Mexico in order to escape a gang in El Salvador that she says tortured and decapitated her father. And she tells us has again and again tried to take her daughters as payment. She says they're not criminals, they're not delinquents, they're just people that are looking for peace and they're looking um, for, for tranquility and they're looking for safety. Now, Maritza and three of her daughters were released two weeks ago. That was before the latest directive from the attorney general. But one of her daughters named Laura is 18 years old. She was separated from the family and she is still being held here in the detention center in San Diego. So far, she says she has not been given a court date or a release date. And Maritza says if she is deported or anyone in their family is sent back to El Salvador, they'll be killed. Guys, back to you.